I'm Stacy, and welcome back to Life on Lindy. Today's video, we're gonna clean the foyer and the living room. It's just a dusty place we live in. Let's get to it. Yesterday. the summer decor that I have on this shelf. I'm just gonna give everything a little shine and dust it off and we're gonna call it good. Now I'm moving on to the side lights and these blinds that are on it. They get really dusty. All the blinds in the house get dusty. And it takes forever to get them cleaned off because you really can't get them clean unless you just clean each slat one at a time on both sides until you get it all clean. This is the coat closet, and the door on this, on the outside, it gets really dusty as well. Well, all the white woodwork gets dusty, but the wood-toned cherry woodwork, it gets dusty too. So I guess everything just gets dusty. I'm just using Windex to clean all this off. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but it worked. Most of this chest is covered in leather, I probably should use some leather cleaner on it, but I never have so far. And if it ever looks dried out, I just put some orange oil on it and that takes care of it. I don't think I showed it, but I did clean the chandelier. I didn't get any polish out for anything today. I just cleaned it. But the next time I'll probably have to shine everything up. Gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. Yo, you will never regret the things that we'll do. I always find little hairy fluff balls behind those two French doors. That's just where it always seems to land. Today I'm concentrating on getting everything clean, so I'm gonna scrub down the baseboards and everything. It's just ready for a deep clean. When we first got our dogs, they were 13 weeks old, and Violet's favorite thing to do was run and slide and sleep under that little chest, and now she's almost as tall as it is. 
and they just turned 12 months old. Now that I have all the woodwork cleaned in the foyer, I'm gonna mop. I have Mr. Clean Multi-Surface Cleaner in the Febreze scent in this bucket. It's still my favorite scent to mop with. train headed back to indiana the rain is forming into rivers outside writing down all the things that i miss and in the letters you take form no i won't go back tonight with the habits of the restless me I'm, I'm about to switch out the blue beads for these white beads on this vase I need the blue beads to go on the centerpiece in the living room, and I think the white beads look just as nice on this table. Everything in here has dirt on it. I don't think I've ever lived in a place that gets this dusty. I don't know if it's from the farming and the winds that blow all the time. It's the dogs bringing it in and shaking off and stirring it up. There's so much dust and dirt on everything. We've kind of been neglecting it a little bit because we've been doing so many projects outside. But it's time to get this house under control. We started with the front porch. Of course, that is outside. And then I moved into the foyer. Now we're going to do the living room. I cleaned the kitchen last night off camera. I just needed to hurry up and get it done. It was just driving me crazy. Poor little dirty food. I'll give him a dust too. These fans right here, I think probably stir up a lot of dust too, especially when the dogs come in for the night and they're dusty. It's just pretty bad. But I'm gonna have to clean out their kennels. Gave them a bath last night. Here we go. I'm sorry about the lighting in this video. It had been raining off and on and I just couldn't keep the window blinds open or shut to the right place to have good lighting. This fireplace, it collects more dust than you could ever imagine. And it's hard to get it all off. We always keep fans on the dogs at night when they sleep. And I think that that's part of the reason that so much dust always blows in this corner. I'm gonna clean behind the kennels too. There's always a lot of dirt there. And I know it's because the fans blow the dirt off the dogs. We have our dogs crate trained, and that means whenever we put them in their crates, they know it's bedtime and they sleep until the next morning when we let them out. They usually wake up between 7.30 and 8.30, but I never leave them in there past 8.30. And that's only if they stayed up late the previous night with us.
each dog has their own personal fan. We did have these small fans on them, but they started rattling and making noise and I just wasn't confident in their safety. So we've taken those out and put two bigger fans in here on them. They were the fans that normally sit in front of my tanning bed, but I'm not using the tanning bed very much lately. Especially since it's basically summertime now and I have the patio and the pool, I get outside and get all the sun I need. I'm vacuuming the mattresses off this time. A lot of times I'll take the covers off and wash them. I do keep them covered by a doubled up blanket so they don't really get dirty that often. So this time I just had to wash the pillow coverings and give them some fresh blankets. They both have a king size pillow in their kennel. Violet likes to lay on hers like it's her bed. It's unbelievable how much dirt I always clean from behind these kennels. I love both of these dogs so much. I don't care how much cleaning it takes to clean up after them. They're worth it. Before I retired in 2019, I was a crane operator for almost 22 years at an aluminum smelter. I used to work anywhere from 48 to 70 hours a week. We had a lot of mandatory overtime and so I just couldn't justify having a dog when I didn't have the time to spend with it. I took an early out retirement option. And I had promised my husband that when I did retire, especially if I retired early, that we could get a dog. But then when I got one dog, I just really wanted two because I just think it's so much fun to watch them play together. And I think they need buddies. So we ended up with litter make male and female puppies. We brought Violet home exactly seven days after we had brought Luke home. They both came from the same breeder the same litter. I had told the breeder that I was looking for a female, not that I wanted to breed them, but that I just wanted a girl so I could put bows in her hair. She was originally spoken for by another family, but that didn't work out and we didn't even know about her and then we got the opportunity to get her ourselves. This cleaning video is a little bit all over the place. I've kind of been doing zone cleaning I've been cleaning completely one area and then I'll move on to the next and completely clean that. It's just a little bit of something different. Normally I'll just move everything around and I'll do all the dusting at one time and then I'll clean all the glass at one time and then I'll sweep and I'll vacuum and then when I mop everything's done. But this time it's a little bit all over the place. Cleaning this entertainment stand is a labor of love. And if you've watched all my other videos, then you've heard the story about my best friend that passed away 
and this was her entertainment stand and she wanted me to have it and I promised her that I would never get rid of it. There's not a day that goes by that I don't wake up in the mornings and for just a split second forget that she's gone. My life has never been the same and I don't guess it ever will be because I still haven't figured out how to live my life without her in it. And actually, as I'm doing this voiceover, last night I dreamed about her. Her name is Jody, and she was a really, really bright, kind light in this world. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles. There's a new day, and it will say. I'm wanting to do a DIY project behind the TV. I want to put some beadboard back there and paint it black so that we won't be able to see the wall or any of the black cords around the TV. like we're on a race against time to finish the outdoor projects that we want to finish this year we're almost finished with the backyard well I say almost we still have one big project and that's the outdoor um, grilling kitchen area that we're planning to build and then we have to move to the front yard and do some mulching and some landscaping around there and then after all that's done and summer is over and we close up the pool we then have an inside project, and that's in the kitchen and the dining room. We want to add two cabinets and some open shelving and a countertop to add to our storage because only then can we put in a dishwasher because we have the original 1968 cabinets from when this house was built, and in order to have a dishwasher, we have to have cabinet space to do that. And when I say two cabinets and open shelves, I mean two cabinets on each side of the pantry and two open shelves on each side of the pantry. So a total of four cabinets and four shelves. And that includes moving some electrical outlets and changing the venting on the HVAC and adding some better lighting. And that's a project we're hoping to get done before Christmas. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. What I just showed you was the pearl tipped pin that came out of my husband's boutonniere from our wedding. I hid this squeaker from the dogs because I was afraid they would get choked on it. We still have plans to put crown molding in the living room and in the foyer in both bathrooms, both bedrooms, and the office. A makeover of the laundry room is also in the planning stages. It's been project after project since the day we signed the papers on this house. But we bought this house knowing that we would have all these projects to do. Little thing. I'm vacuuming this rug, this shaggy rug. It's kind of hard to vacuum, but it really needs to be cleaned. I have a carpet cleaner, and maybe in the next video that I do cleaning this room, I'll clean that carpet too. We don't have any actual carpeting anywhere in this house, but we do have three big room size area rugs like this. 
video is 32 minutes long, but in real time, it took over seven hours from start to finish for me to clean the foyer from top to bottom and the living room from top to bottom. And then after this was all done, Dean came home with the groceries. That little fox toy right there is now missing two arms and at least half of its squeakers. Here's where the blue beads went. Luke and Violet are at the gate and they just can't wait to get back in here. It looks like I might need a bigger couch, but I just don't think I have room for one. Dean's back home with the groceries, and now he's going to give you a grocery haul. Okay, we're going to go over today's grocery haul. Today, I went to Walmart, Aldi, and Kroger. So, we'll go over this right here. Oh, and also Sam's Club. Can't forget Sam's Club. Uh, our big old sheep a doodle has got a big old bag of uh, puppy chow. They just turned a year old, so... 
about a year and a half, we'll probably switch them over to the regular dog chow. Uh, that's what the vet recommended. And this is the kind of uh, kitty litter that we get. Luke is jumping on me right now. <laughs> Violet probably will too. Uh, this is the kind of kitty litter we've always gotten. It just, uh, it seems to really come up good. It clumps up, it gets everything out and doesn't make a mess. We like it. We've kind of stuck. We've tried different ones, but this is kind of what we keep going to. I had to have my drinks for the week. I'm off four days uh, after each work shift. I work uh, two days, two nights, and then I have four days off. This is my work off morning, so I had to lay down for a little bit today before I went shopping. Uh, these are the drinks I get for, for me and uh, my son, our son for the week. Stacy, she's a different kind of drinker. She likes these right here. She likes the caffeine-free diet stuff. <laughs> and here are the dogs back there. Normally, we have a refrigerator in the garage, and I'll buy a bottle of drinks just to throw in there. So whenever I'm outside working or whatever, I'll grab one. I've got a lot of water in there too. Uh, let's see, Italian cut green beans. So we had to get some of those right there. We usually meal plan to see what we're gonna be making for our dinners while I'm off work. Uh, last week we went and did a, a big meat run to fill up our freezer. So really all we need is just sides. And this week we needed the, the green beans. You're probably wondering why so much bologna? Well, the guys at my work, every once in a while will bring stuff in for everybody just to snack on or whatever. And I figured it's probably my turn. I probably need to do it. So I have a big Oklahoma Joe smoker that I do a lot of smoking on. It's a stick burner. That's what I like. Uh, so I'm going to smoke some bologna for everybody at work. And also, of course, I'll take some crackers in for them. And once again, my four two liters for work. Uh, Stacy likes this kind of water. We get this at Aldi. That's the only kind she really likes. It's got all the flavors in it she likes. We were out of milk. We needed milk, so that's a that's a normal thing. Clamato, I don't know why. I just love that stuff. Nobody else in here in this house likes it. I love it. We're big salad eaters, so we had to stock up on our salad and uh, green peppers. Green peppers and uh, the cucumber, tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. We got the Roma tomatoes in the... the um, the peppers because we're gonna make a fajita steak I think this week. Stacy likes this stuff right here. She normally likes the fruit and cream in the box and she asked if I could find something just banana or just blueberry or whatever. They didn't have anything like that. So I got her a couple of the little blueberry strawberries just so she can try it. They don't sell them in the big boxes but they sell them in the small cups right there. Uh, she likes the blueberry preserves. This is the only kind of queso we get. We use it for the fajita steak and whatever. Random chips. I'm a random chip guy. I like to try them all. So this is what I got this week. This blue hog raspberry chipotle. A guy brought in a Boston butt at work one night and he brought some of this and it was so good. So I went in and got some. Okay, some more salsa con queso, probably for the fajita steak or whatever we do with it here. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, Bob Evans, we're big on mashed potatoes. We like the Bob Evans mashed potatoes if we don't wanna mix them up ourselves, just you know, short on time or tired or whatever. We'll throw these in the microwave and just use those up. Dogs, dogs. We gotta take care of the dogs. Here's my philosophy. We're big dog lovers. A dog lives between 10 and 15 years normally. You know, give them the best life they possibly can in that amount of time. That's that's what I say. And just, whatever they like, if you're able to get it, just get it. They love these handballs right here. Love them. And these busy bone twists. I think they're like, uh, what flavor are they? They used to be like a bacon and cheese flavor or something. They really like those. You kind of know after a while, after years, so you kind of know what they like and don't like. So it kind of narrows down what we buy. Sleep aid. Gotta have that. Take one before bed. It just helps me sleep. It helps her sleep. A little can of spray paint blue. I had three cans the other day. I'm painting some, um, or two cans actually. I'm painting some outdoor chairs, plastic chairs. They're Adirondack chairs. They're kind of purple now and they were faded. We wanted them blue and we like, you know, let's, let's try to paint them once. And if they don't work out, we'll buy some blue ones. But 
I thought I'd paint them, you know, a little bit cheaper. Let's see how it holds up. But I ran out of paint. I needed one more can, so I'm gonna finish those up. Okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, a bonus. I ordered these on Amazon. They're 12 low voltage lights. Uh, we're gonna put those around the pool and we'll probably do a video of uh, installing them along with some other stuff around our pool in a video. So that uh, I think is about it. I think that's it. You all have a great day. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please help me out by giving me a like and a subscribe and leave me a comment. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.